morning. It is 7.30 almost, and I actually have to be out the door in 15 minutes. So I'm gonna quickly show you what um, a morning looks like for me. It's all about food prep. I have some chopped onions I'm gonna throw in this pan, and then I'm gonna saute a pound of grass-fed beef. And then that way when I get home from my responsibilities at about 12 o'clock, 12, one o'clock, then I won't have to scramble. I'm also going to cook my organic foursome carrots, peas, green beans, and corn. And then that will be ready. So I better get started. Okay, so the beef is done. That took me less than 10 minutes. My veggies are almost done. And then what I have going on, oh my gosh, my kitchen is so messy. I made the mistake of going to bed with a messy kitchen and so it's a little bit crazy. So um, yesterday I prepped a big veggie tray. So since I have to go, I'm just going to take a Ziploc bag, throw a bunch of veggies in there, and then I can snap on those. And then when I get home, this beef, I'm going to um, stick it in the fridge. I just season it with, um, let me show you, this Grillmates Montreal Steak Seasoning. So good. A little extra black pepper and some salt. See, I've got my veggies here. I'm not, I just kind of got them started because I don't want them to be mushy. So I'm going to put those in the fridge. I'm going to put this in a glass container. Get my veggies to go. Let me show you what's going on with my bulletproof tea this morning. So I have two tea bags of the Good Earth Sweet and Spicy Herbal Tea. It's my very favorite herbal tea. It's been steeping here for a little while. And so it's still really hot. So I'm going to throw in one tablespoon of um, extra virgin cold pressed coconut oil and then a whole tablespoon of Kerrygold unsalted butter and then I'll blend it with two tablespoons of coconut milk and that will be seven points plus for my bulletproof beverage and then I won't eat again until this afternoon unless I snack on some veggies that I'm bringing kind of like just in case I don't get home in time to eat. So there you go. I'll show you what I'm eating the next time I eat. This is a pretty typical lunch for me. I cooked the ground beef with some onions and seasoned it and then I just heated it up. And so I have three ounces of cooked grass-fed beef. And then I have two thirds, well, not quite two thirds of a cup, but I'm counting it as one anyway. I actually have a half of a cup of the organic foursome. So these are my starchy vegetables. Um, sometimes I have a potato, sometimes I just have starchy vegetables. This is kind of where I get my starch. And then one teaspoon, half a teaspoon of grass fed butter. So that's two points. So I have four points for the beef. Did I tell you how many points it was? It's four points. Four points for the beef two points for the vegetables so that's six points now i made a salad spinach cauliflower peppers carrots cucumbers this is going to sound disgusting and honestly i don't know if it is going to be disgusting but i made a mixture of peanut butter coconut butter and coconut oil and it's kind of in liquid dressing form you can kind of see since those vegetables are cold it's kind of coating it like a like a dipped ice cream cone, but um, I kind of like Thai flavors, even though this isn't Thai flavored. I'm going to try it. It might be disgusting. Okay, Simon is all done. So that's another six points. So six and six is 12. So this is a really big lunch and this should carry me all the way until dinner time. So see you then. Hey, it is about four o'clock. Um... I accidentally fell asleep while my son was napping so I woke up just like groggy and I totally wanted to eat so I'm having a big glass of water first then I have my veggie tray and then I have a homemade dip for two smart points and we'll see how much of the dip that I use but I have my veggie tray out emergency 911 when the snack attacks hate you 
<sighs> Take a deep breath. Here we go. It's only 15 minutes in. I don't know if you can see how sweaty I am. These heavier weights that I just got have made a huge <laughs> difference. I am feeling it! Woo! <laughs> Hey, what's up? It's dinner. I just finished my workout. I'm doing the Chalene Extreme. I'm in the push phase and I just finished the second or push number two. So I just want a quick filling dinner. I don't want to mess around with like meat or anything else because I've already had grass fed beef. So I am having half of an avocado. It was a small avocado, so that's two points plus. And then I put into the meal builder two eggs and a quarter cup of the fat-free Kraft cheese. And I calculated it as four points. Um, usually eggs are two apiece, but I don't know. That's what the calculator said. And then two tablespoons of sour cream. I gotta double check on this. I think it's two points. It might be three. I'm not sure. So if the sour cream is three, then I'm one point over for a total of 33. If not then I'm right at 32. Um, so, not a lot of veggies. This is just homemade salsa. It's tomatoes and onions and cilantro and seasoning. Um, not a lot of veggies right now. I just don't feel like eating them. I had a ton for my snack, as you saw from the veggie tray, and I did have a pretty good amount at lunch. Um, so it's a little bit bare on the veggies part, but everything else I think is pretty good. So... Um, thanks so much for watching. I'm going to wrap this up um, with a little blurb at the end, just a little bit about high fat, low carb, and points plus. So uh, stay tuned for just another clip. Okay, so I know that there are a lot of questions about this whole high fat, low carb way of eating, what it is, how it works, that sort of thing. I'm still in my workout clothes, so pardon that. Um, I discovered the bullet proof diet book back in October. I downloaded it as an audiobook. I listened to it. It literally changed my life and I listened to it again. <laughs> so the bulletproof diet roadmap is kind of how I started getting these ideas of what to eat, when to eat it, why to eat it. And then I have since listened to that book probably four or five times. Um, through the Bulletproof Diet and other people here on YouTube, particularly Sarah Pearl over at Pearls and Wisdom of Food, she has become a dear friend and mentor and she actually sent me in the mail what I'm about to show you in just a minute. So I came across that in October and that kind of turned me on to the high fat, low carb way of eating. It was life changing. Everything changed for me when I started eating this way. Um, I chose to cut out wheat at the same time, but I didn't choose to cut out grains because of this. I chose to cut out grains because of everything that I learned through the Hashimoto's Institute, which is um, an online, I don't know, seminar that I attended over a year ago. And I listened to all of the talks. They're um, like each an hour long and they're by experts from like tons of fields, uh, pharmacists. MD doctors, functional medicine doctors, nutritionists, biochemists, um, neuroscientists, and they all said the same thing, that you have to cut out gluten. And there was so much that I learned through the Hashimoto's Institute, so I won't get into that. But I cut out wheat because of what I learned about its effect on thyroid, and then I found the Bulletproof um, diet, and that went perfectly with cutting out wheat and um so let me turn this around and this is just going to show you kind of what i use to um make my meals so um all of this information is available online for free that's right for free now my dear friend sarah pearl over at pearls and wisdom of food was kind enough to send me an extra one that she acquired so I'm going to try to explain kind of quickly, and it's too, it's, it's too hard to explain simply, but basically he divides up um, the food groups into oils and fats, organic veggies, protein, 
and fruit and starch. And then he tells you roughly how many servings of each category to have every day. It's that simple. And then over here, he does have kind of a color coded guide of when it's the best time of day to eat the different foods that you're choosing from. So there's a lot of information on his website and his books on his podcasts. Um, if you're interested in learning more, but this is kind of what I use. And then he ranks them as like the best for you. Suspect foods are things that like, they're not necessarily bad for you, but they might cause inflammation. They might make you tired. And then toxic are things that like, he just says you just shouldn't even eat. Like they're not even worth it. So sometimes I eat some things from the toxic category. Um, he also does not really promote dairy, um, but I am working on that. I know that at some point it would be good for me to experiment with not eating dairy, but I'm just not there yet. So this is what I usually use as my guide. So he encourages you to eat like six to 11 servings of organic veggies, and then he ranks them in order of which ones are the best for like feeling super energized and having high performance. So you can see here from the list at the very bottom, um, there's like canned vegetables, corn. He's not a huge fan of corn, but I don't need a whole ton of corn. Um, but at the top are the really green vegetables, asparagus, avocado, bok choy, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, celery, cucumber, fennel, and olives. And I love all of those. Um, beverages, he kind of goes through that. Oils and fats. So he makes some products that I'm actually going to order. Um, the Brain Octane Oil. I'm really excited to try that. What I recently learned of one of his podcasts um, is kind of why the Brain Octane Oil is so much different from regular MCT oil. Um, MCT oil is basically, uh, for simple terms, it's like all the good stuff from coconut oil, but it doesn't have all the nutrients that coconut oil has. So, I mean, you'd have to read up on that on your own. <laughs> I can't explain it. But um, I use coconut oil, and then he kind of goes down and shows you like the oils and fats that you should just avoid. So those are things like canola oil, vegetable oil, oil soy oil, margarine, you know, things that have been... Um, processed. Um, the nuts and seeds, he pretty much says coconut is at the top. And then the nuts that are okay to eat, almonds, cashews, chestnuts, hazelnuts, macadamia, pecans, walnuts. And then he says that peanuts and flaxseed and chia seeds are kind of down on the list between suspect and toxic. So if you're really looking to like have super high performance, I mean, you can go there, but I still eat those things. So like I said, this is just a guide. And then you can see from here, you know, this is, like I said, this is all available online. I'm just trying to give you some information about where, or like what I use as my guide. So the sources of protein, grass-fed beef, I definitely do that. The starches, pumpkin, butternut squash, sweet potato, yam, carrot, I definitely do that. White rice, um, bananas, potatoes, buckwheat, oats, quinoa, and then, um, you know, those things at the bottom. And he says, eat very few starchy foods, and it's um, optimal to eat it in the evenings. Um, that way your body can use it overnight, and then when you wake up, you can still be in ketosis. If that's what you're going for, every three to seven days, take one day to eat more carbs. And he has a whole chapter on that. And then fruit, he recommends kind of sticking to the berries. Most people know that those are super low glycemic index fruits. They're also loaded with antioxidants. Um, they will most likely have the least negative effect on your blood sugar. 
and then it kind of goes down from there as you can kind of see as the list goes down it is the more sugar like dense fruits um and then there's a section on all of this so if you are interested in learning more about the bulletproof diet it's all on his website like i said this is available for you to download for free. This is a nicer copy that was um, a gift to me, and I'm very grateful for that. So this is what I use as my guide to pick my foods. Now, obviously, I'm not perfect at this, but it is nice to have a guide, the roadmap. Like it says, now there are other um, people who are kind of behind the low-carb, high-fat um lifestyle I guess we'll call it I don't want to call it like a trend but um there are other experts and once you kind of find like the one person who speaks to you I find that through them like you'll kind of find the other people who are kind of in that same camp so Dave Asprey is who I like I don't know kiss the ground he walks on I guess you could say um I listen to so many of his podcasts I believe what he talks about um I think that he goes for like optimum health and performance and I'm kind of just still evolving into that so some of his like but intense but I have like no room left on my camera so I'm gonna wrap it up thank you for watching and if you have any other questions leave them below and I will try to answer them in um either a comment or in another video bye